the growth of every Christian is depend on how they approach the word of the Lord. And today you have opportunity to listen to the word of the Lord from the mouth of his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama. Sit back and relax yourself and prayerfully listen to the word of the Lord. I believe you are going to be blessed. Please sit down. Let me introduce number two and then we'll close. We may not have the time to touch it. Mark 6, 2. The force of wisdom. Mark 6, 2. Mark 6, 2. When the Sabbath, the Sabbath day was come, he began to teach in the synagogue and many hearing him were astonished, saying, from when had this man these things and what wisdom is this which is given to him take note not wisdom that he acquired what wisdom is this which is given to him and even such mighty works are wrought through his hands the bible tells us that wisdom can come as a gift from god there is the gift of wisdom there is the spirit of wisdom. There is wisdom from above. James 1, 5. If any of you lack wisdom, the Bible says, let him ask of God that giveth unto all men liberally and upbraideth not. And the Bible says, and it shall be given him. Please look at me. It is impossible for you to command greater works in your life if you do not have the manifestation of wisdom hallelujah the first force prayer birthing and establishing the will and the purposes of god the second force that brings individuals into the reality the experience of greater works is the force of wisdom in isaiah 11 and verse 2 the Bible talks about several dimensions of the Spirit. And the second category after the Spirit of the Lord is the Spirit of wisdom. And alongside with it, understanding. Let's define wisdom. Number one, wisdom, I wrote here, is the accurate application of spiritual knowledge. Wisdom is the accurate application of spiritual knowledge number two wisdom is the supernatural ability please write only introducing it and then we pray the supernatural ability please help her one two three help them It comes to an end said the Spirit of God it comes to an end what God is saying to one he's saying to all it comes to an end I don't know the situation in their lives it comes to an end let me pray for someone the haziness in your discernment the, I want to release a grace upon you the ability to discern spiritual things with precision beyond the realm of trial and error and luck May that grace rest upon you now. <laughs> Hallelujah. You can train your spirit man to be sensitive to the impulses of the spirit. Hallelujah. There are radar technologies that are built around cars, certain cars. And once, once there is something with precision, the military have mastered the art of they can surround an entire space, an airspace, land space, such that anything that intrudes beeps immediately. Your spirit man can be like that. That you can receive impulses of the spirit. There are things you don't fake. One of them is discernment. Hallelujah. You can't gather in the midst of God's people and make a fool of yourself before the nations. There is a confidence that is derived by training your spirit man. Please sit down. Let's finish this definition. 
communion tonight is interesting glory be to Jesus the supernatural ability please write the second definition of wisdom the supernatural ability to use the written and inspired word the supernatural ability to use the written and inspired word of God to make accurate decisions the supernatural ability to use the written and the inspired word of God to make accurate decisions and provide solutions to life's problems is called wisdom I'll repeat myself one last time the supernatural ability to use the written word and the inspired word of God to make accurate decisions and to provide solutions to life's problems is called wisdom many people lack this faculty the ability to take advantage of the written and inspired word of God to make quality decisions I have done a few teachings here on wisdom to guide you ladies and gentlemen I do not know anybody who did and is doing or will do mighty things mighty works for the kingdom who does not have a rich deposit of wisdom upon his life because decisions decide destiny your destiny moves at the frequency of your decisions i have taught you here that you do not choose consequences you make decisions and connected to every decision are already consequences by default you know you are bankrupt of divine wisdom because your life becomes a plethora of errors and mistakes time wasting destiny consuming mistakes there are people whose lives are full of regrets they love the lord but they, their lives seem to revolve around mistakes financial mistakes are we together family marital mistakes what else again spiritual mistakes ministerial mistakes your life is full of the wrong things and the wrong decisions there is the absence of wisdom there are four kinds of wisdom that the bible reveals four kinds four kinds of wisdom that are revealed according to james chapter 3 13 to 17. i'm not dwelling so much i'm just showing you as a potent force number one earthly wisdom the bible talks about earthly wisdom hallelujah earthly wisdom this is natural wisdom we call it common sense even though a dear man of god says common sense is not common how right but then we know common sense instincts you may want to call it earthly wisdom the natural ability to respond to recognize and respond to right and wrong number two the bible calls it sensual wisdom from senses another word is scientific wisdom philosophical wisdom wisdom that comes through studies wisdom that comes through experience is called sensual wisdom all of these dimensions of wisdom are important but they have their limitations sensual wisdom comes through study comes through science comes through philosophy interacting with your sociological environment number three the third kind of wisdom is called devilish or demonic wisdom This is a sense of judgment, a sense of recognizing right and wrong, but it is motivated by your fraternity with evil or familiar spirits. An example of this kind of wisdom was seen in the damsel, I think in Acts chapter 16. There was a damsel who was prophesying correctly. All that she was saying was accurate. And the Bible says she kept prophesying to people and her masters had great gain by reason of her soothsaying. There was nothing wrong in what she was saying. But the spirit that was behind it was the spirit of divination. And when the apostles saw her, having studied it for many days, he saw that no, 
this may be accurate but the spirit behind it was not of God and he rebuked the spirit out of the damn cell and that is how they landed themselves in the prison that eventually they prayed Paul and Silas remember that was the event that led them they casted the evil spirit out of that damn cell and the basis for their masters getting gain now went away completely that means when the spirit of God inspires you with wisdom it can bring you gain even financial gain hallelujah devilish wisdom there are people today who go to all kinds of demonic routes to try to know the future try to learn things about their lives you see that now of course we live in a world where everyone has the right to explore whatever path they choose to but I'm speaking to people who I believe love Jesus and are willing to submit their lives to the modus operandi of the kingdom. For such, you are prohibited by your love for Jesus and by the principles of scripture. The Bible says, thou shalt not have any other gods before me. It is important to know that God is a jealous God and his jealousy demands that he be the only God. John 17, 3. And this is life eternal, that they may know thee the only true God and Jesus whom thou hast sent. Hallelujah. Devilish wisdom. And then finally, and for the purpose of our, the, the introduction tonight, is called wisdom from above write this and it will be a good place to wrap up tonight's teaching wisdom from above the bible calls it godly supernatural wisdom wisdom from above listen to me ladies and gentlemen a man can receive wisdom from above wisdom beyond your age wisdom beyond your level of of um secular enlightenment and education wisdom beyond the scope of your experience in fact wisdom beyond your level of exposure all of these aforementioned are enhancers having them in your life provides a leverage and an advantage but nothing stands the wisdom that comes from above you want to live a life of greater works manifesting the superior power of god you can tell when a man is carrying wisdom wisdom from above qualitative superior decisions that move your life your organization your ministry god's people move nations forward wisdom always moves people forward making incremental steps many of us here have been stagnated across many areas of our lives because we have lacked this wisdom next week i'll take it from here but once you are seated lay your hands on your head in one minute and i'd like you to cry father the wisdom required to manifest greater works i receive it right now go ahead and pray the wisdom required the wisdom required your hands on your head as a prophetic action in the name of jesus the wisdom required i am tired of making destiny delaying decisions i am tired of making inferior decisions i obtain grace go ahead and pray there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death lord i am ready to make quality decisions it's time to move the work you have given me forward move my family forward move my destiny forward move my children forward move my spouse forward move my organization forward go ahead and pray pray in one minute wisdom that comes from above he said what wisdom is this go ahead as you are praying is coming on you as you are praying is coming on you and like solomon you will rise up from this prayer and watch your life begin to move at the frequency of divine wisdom this is life to me keep praying the spirit i receive Wisdom. I receive wisdom by the Spirit. Even the wisdom of the just. There is a kind of 
wisdom called the wisdom of the just. The hidden wisdom of God that has been ordained for our glory. Man of God, you need wisdom for ministry. It's beyond wisdom that comes through education. You need wisdom by the spirit of the living God. Pray. It's time to rise by wisdom. Time to build by wisdom. Time to excel by wisdom. Reveal his glory by wisdom. And this is hope for me. Jesus, I believe every word you said. All of your promises. Oh, I listen. No ear has had Go ahead and what pray. God has prepared for me. So I submit to His work in me. So Christ be born in me. No I has sinned. No ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to His work in me. So Christ be No, he has heard what God has prepared for me, and so I submit to his work in me until Christ be born in me. Hallelujah. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 7. Please rise, everyone. First Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 7. It says, But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Then he says, even the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the world unto our glory. I think it's Luke now who calls it. I'm not sure whether it's Luke 117 or what scripture. He says the wisdom of the just. There is the wisdom of the just. Yeah. And the disobedience to turn them. To the wisdom of the just among the many things that wisdom does ladies and gentlemen is to make stars out of ordinary men daniel 12 3 and they that be wise shall shine it doesn't matter what nation it doesn't matter what place they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament show me a man who has placed value on wisdom i show you a man that can never remain down man of god when wisdom comes upon you your ministry will become a sign and a wonder businessman when wisdom comes upon you you will lay up gold as dust and you will be a wonder first to yourself and everybody around you but your greatest confidence will not be the money you have the greatest confidence will be the residue of wisdom. One of the true riches, the capital that buys money. Many believers have ignored wisdom. Please do not miss next week's, um, especially for those following online. I've not done justice to wisdom. I need to show you what the force of wisdom can do. I submit to you with all humility that this ministry you celebrate around the globe Yes, it's a product of God's grace, but a dimension of his grace called wisdom. He said, by me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, nobles rule. He says, with me are riches, wealth, and honor, yea, durable riches and righteousness. A man who has tapped into the fountain of divine wisdom is a mystery to all men. An eternal mystery. You will never unravel a destiny that has buried itself in the wisdom of God that even the salvation of men was called the hidden wisdom of God that which principalities and powers did not know that had they known this they would not crucify the king of glory ladies and gentlemen I know you love favor I know you have seen the immense benefits of favor but let me encourage you our lives move at the frequency of decisions and when you evolve to becoming a leader, there are many destinies connected to your, to, your, to your decisions. 
one wrong careless undiscerning assumption can recycle the pain of men the burden of leadership is such that you need wisdom from above most of us here are professionals in different respects and this is a house of influence where God has enabled great men to rise across different strata of society I sell to you a key a factor for greater works is called wisdom even wisdom that comes from above among the many things you contend for in this day is wisdom and one of the secrets for accessing wisdom let me give you two keys I will repeat them next week listen to wise men and follow the book of wisdom these are two profound keys to becoming wise listen to wise men he that walks with the wise so the Bible tells us proximity can impart wisdom he who walks with the wise will be wise himself love everybody but avoid the company of foolish people your destiny is too expensive for experiment are we together now one mistake has cost you 10 years don't repeat another one you don't have all that lifetime one definition of a fool is a man who says in his heart there is no god the bible says the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom but fools despise wisdom and instruction that means one definition of wisdom is one who submits himself to instruction are we learning yeah very important listen to wise men listen to wise men everywhere you see if the fountain of wisdom flowing listen to it and then number two this book you see is a compendium of the wisdom of God written by holy men inspired by the spirit of wisdom holy men wrote the Bible says as they were inspired and that from a child thou hast known the holy scripture which is able to make you wise even unto salvation father we thank you for tonight thank you for the abundance of your grace in the name of Jesus I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice that the grace for prayer rests upon you the wisdom of the spirit rests upon you that by the revelation of these forces already your life will begin to command greater works greater results in the name of Jesus someone is saying tonight I need Jesus I have taught you that only a fool will say in his heart it's not an insult it's a description that there is no God someone is saying I came to church tonight and whilst I heard the man of God preach the spirit of the living God began to convict me that it is time to make my ways right with Jesus when you submit yourself to wisdom and to instruction you come to Jesus the fountain of wisdom you are here and you want to make that decision for the first time or you are rededicating your heart to Jesus Christ it doesn't matter what category I want you to courageously pick your bags your Bible everything you came to church with show that you have embraced wisdom tonight by coming to Jesus let's celebrate them as they come thank you sir thank you ma come to Jesus let the devil be put to shame over your destiny tonight koinonia celebrate them as they come it matters that we celebrate them as they come to Jesus thank you sir thank you thank you for that courage come before Jesus are you coming? Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Come. Every man will bow down and say you are King. Let's give them a minute to come. Yes, the world will bow down and say you are God. Every man will bow down and say you are king. So let's stop crying now. Why would we wait? Keep your glory. Feel peace. Just wanna be with you. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for the courage 
Zaria, I believe that there are people who are walking up the altar, all the overflows, and our global family, all those who are making it right with Jesus. It's a noble decision to make it right with Jesus. It's the first proof that you desire wisdom, the first proof that you desire greater works. Please lift your right hand. Let me encourage you, all of you who are here, as a sign of total surrender to Jesus, and say this after me loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. Tonight, I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin. I believe that you rose again for my justification. Right now, I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. And I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. I am a child of God. I go from glory to glory and grace to grace. Amen. Keep those beautiful hands lifted. Father, thank you for my brothers and sisters, all who have come declaring your lordship over their lives. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven and I empower you in the name of Jesus to live the victorious Christian life. I call you the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus and that from today henceforth you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus mighty and matchless name we have prayed thank you very much for making this I want to appreciate you as you have watched this message and listening to it and I want you to pray from your heart and I want you to believe God for the miracle that is going to manifest in you and i want you to also share this message and also if you have not subscribed subscribe to this channel that the lord will richly bless you don't forget that we are preparing for the coming of our lord jesus christ if our christianity only be on this earth it will do us no good that is why we are preparing and trying to use this medium to reach out to as many. So if you have not given your life to Christ, try to do so and live a faithful life and a winning life to the glory of God. May God keep you. May God bless you. As you have listened to his servant, Apostle Jesus Shama. God bless you.